Today let's learn some advanced concepts of canvas which is transformation. Transformations are the way objects are drawn onto the canvas. There are basically three transformations translate, scale and rotate along with a way to define our own free form transformations. So in today's video tutorial let's just see translate which moves the canvas origin to a newer location okay let's get started we have an canvas with an id of my canvas two pixels black dotted border and it has a width and height of 200 pixels so let me start by writing a fill rectangle so I'll fill style it first with a red color so that I get a red color filled rectangle filled rect so observe here I start drawing the rectangle at the origin 0 comma 0 that is 0 x axis and 0 pixels y axis with a width and height of 75 pixels so here is our rectangle now I want to shift the origin somewhere here that is from here to here it is 75 pixels I'll I'll move little forward maybe 80 pixels in y axis to here to here is 75 pixels I'll move little forward here maybe here 80 comma 80 I'll use translate method and shift the origin that is I'll move the origin from 0 comma 0 to 80 comma 80 to illustrate that I'll simply copy the same rectangle with the same parameters but still the rectangle is isn't drawn at 0 comma 0 but at 80 comma 80 as its origin so here it is working so from here on after the translate method has been called whatever you draw will be drawn with reference to the origin which is 80 comma 80 and not 0 comma 0 I'll just draw and draw a circle and show you how it works I'll give its x-axis and y-axis as 100 pixels and 100 pixels with a radius of 20 pixels it's a complete circle because its angle start from 0 to 360 since we already have fill style I'll simply call fill here so that we get red color circle okay 100 comma 100 is the center of this circle and it is measured from the origin 80 comma 80 and not from 0 comma 0 let me stroke style it to blue color and add a line width of 2 pixels since we have stroke style I'll call stroke method I'll even apply some shadow settings to it a simple shadow settings shadow color of black color and a blur that is shadow blur of 20 so whatever settings of shadow I'm writing here will be applied only to the arc because the only element which is following this shadow setting is this circle if I cut the same shadow setting and place it above circle and two other rectangles now the shadow settings will be applied to all these three elements that is whatever elements follow our shadow settings similarly the translate method works whatever elements follow this translate method call will have the the new origin which is which has been specified by our translate method stay tuned for other videos on scale and rotate Remember these are advanced topics of canvas so stay tuned 
and practice this please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter etc and stay subscribed to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel and please like this video on youtube